All right, guys, Papa Pepper here once again with Balloon Animals 101. Today, I'm going to show you a piece I call Unlocking the Mysteries of Terrestrial Mammal Sculpting with Twisty Balloons. Um, the reason that I'm talking about terrestrial mammals as pertaining to Twisty Balloon Sculpting is that, uh, you know, that's kind of where it's at. A lot of people are going to ask for things that are terrestrial mammals. A lot of people aren't going to ask for things like, oh, could I get an angelfish, or a tuna, or a mackerel, or a bass. I mean, that's, there's not a lot of um, demand for a variety of, uh, of fish. And likewise, I mean, not a lot of people go, oh, can I get an albatross? Can I get a bald eagle? Can I get a... A kingfisher, uh, can I get a robin, a cardinal, a blue jay, you know, a sparrow? There's not a lot of demand for variety within birds with twisty balloon animal sculpting. Now, of course, you know, as, as serious artists in our craft, um, nobody really wants to be boxed in, and you can only work in these parameters, and, uh, you know, you can only focus on terrestrial mammal sculptures. Uh, you've already seen me do flowers and other things, but... Uh, I'm going to show you something that as you progress and as you think about what you want to be up to and doing with your balloon sculptures, um, this kind of just unlocks some things for you. So <clears throat> I'm going to do something I'm going to, I'm going to have you guys count with me now. And I'll explain it and I'll show you a couple other things. So first thing, stretch your balloon, right? And hang guys like the nice Canada shirt, Mr. V. Cellier. That was a gift when he came down from Canada to visit me. Almost. Okay, ready? So we're just going to do a king size mouse here because king size mice are terrestrial mammals. So, first thing, okay? We're kind of doing the nose, the face, the head section, right? Then we've got ears. So far we've got three. Nose, and ears, put them together, twist them around, okay? That's a face right there. Nose and ears. Not that ears are a little flop lopsided, but then neck. Okay? So we're at four balloons. Neck, four twists. Then <clears throat> that'll be the left leg and the right leg. Okay? Bring them together. One for the nose, two for the ears, one for the neck, two for the front feet, one for the midsection, the body, two for the back legs, and usually you're going to leave something for a tail. So, there we have the little mouse, right? Little mouse, squeak, squeak, uh, cheese, something, okay? So, one for the nose, two for the ears, one for the neck, two for the front feet, one for the body, two for the back feet, and one to start the tail. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just like the fingers of most balloon animal sculptors. Now, you can do it with less. And if you wind up uh, not having as many fingers, you know, feel free to still, still join in. But, you have a 10 piece formation there. And what you're going to find is that really as a starting base a lot of the terrestrial mammals that you're going to be sculpting have a 10 piece. Okay? How about Blue Bunny? Right? You guys like ice cream? Blue Bunny? Here we go. This one will be longer. A little more. Okay, so tie it. Gotta remember to tie it. Okay, watch. One for the nose. Two. Three for the ears. Three. Okay, seven more. So one for the neck. That's number four. Two for the front legs. It's gonna be five and six. Six already. Okay, face, neck, front legs. 
a draft in here. It makes me feel like my balloons are leaking. One for the body. I'm gonna do a little bit shorter body there. Two for the back legs. One for the tail. That's ten. Turn around. Put this one, you know. I'm actually just gonna tuck this in here. It's a sitting position rabbit, but what do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There it is. Look. Ten sections, rabbit. Ten sections, mouse. Okay. What else we got going on? What did I just make the other day? A dog? Check this out. You want to count? Guess how many? I'll give you a clue. That's your clue. Okay? Guess how many? Three so far, folks. Number four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Look at that. Another terrestrial mammal represented in balloon animals. Ten. 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 Okay. What else do you want? How about a pink elephant this time, right? Pink elephant? Should we go Asian elephant? Last time I went African. I think we're going Asian this time, ready? So, this we're gonna have a little bit longer nose. Okay, bend it a little bit. Okay, a little bit longer ears. Not as long as the African elephant, but a little bit longer, right? Yeah. That is such a comforting sound. Okay, throw up the neck, throw up your front legs. That's how many I'm at when I hit the front legs. It's six, okay? Seven for the body. Two for the back legs, one for the tail, that's seven plus three, what do we got? Ten. So there we go. Asian elephant. Ten. 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 So, if you're going to get creative, if you're going to be doing something, and say somebody asks, or something. Say it happens to be a terrestrial land mammal. For the most part. Even if you don't really know what you're doing, as long as you go one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're going to be able to have some sort of terrestrial land mammal. And as you know, part of really working a crowd and trying to get some more money from making the balloon animals is they ask for something, you say, well, here it is. And no matter what, they, they could ask for a butterfly and you say, <laughs> Here's your butterfly. And what do they say? Well, that's not a butterfly. And be like, yeah, it is. Look, here's its little thing. It drinks the nectar from the wings, the beautiful spread there. I mean, that's totally used to be a caterpillar. You saw it earlier, right? You saw it earlier. It was a caterpillar. Now it's a butterfly. And they're going to say, that's not a butterfly. And the kid's going to start crying. And then the parents are going to be like, come on, balloon guy. Just, just give the kid what they want. Because I'm used to spoiling my kid and giving them what they want. And I don't want to sit here and listen to my kid. I don't want to have to deal with my kid. Just, just give them what they want. Here's a 20. And they say, oh, 20 bucks. I guess I'm making a real butterfly. Which isn't really a 10-piecer. So uh, maybe we'll cover that next time. All right, guys. Pop out.